as soon as your body goes into the dehydration mode it doesn't feel thirsty anymore it locks itself out and it starts to use the water from your body that's why you get start getting muscle cramps because your muscle starts to dry out it goes on and on to the organ failures also the biggest risk in this hiking trips is the health you can easily get a snake bite you can fall off a cliff you can get dehydrated and then there is a poacher's threat also because they are with guns and we are actually unarmed so there is a poacher's threat also to us rangers of wadi buraya climb slippery ridges and uneven terrain for dozens of hours sometimes for days to manually download images of a tiny memory card. This memory card is contained in a camera trap. The camera trap is a device that takes a picture whenever there is an animal in its vicinity. Passive infrared technology, or PIR, enables the camera to be as functional at night as it is during the day. Well, for the time being, we need to go on and to each of these camera traps take the uh, memory card, download the memory card on the computer and uh, replace the, uh, uh, the memory card for the next round of, uh, of photos. So it's very, uh, it, it's very long. Yes, if we could have something uh, like a drone who is going and downloads that data directly from each camera trap, that would save us a lot of time and money and energy and also uh, risks that we are taking uh, going there. Our solution to these issues is the Wadi Drones program. We want to introduce autonomous electric fixed-wing drones into the wadi, which will wirelessly collect the photos from the camera traps. Since the camera traps are a crucial element of the conservation of wildlife in Wadi Buraya, the drones will help document and preserve the vast and underappreciated diversity of the UAE's wildlife. We divided our efforts into two parts. First is the flight, and the second is the transmission of the information between the camera trap and the drone. For flight, we are using a Cyclops e-drone with an APM autopilot. These are solutions that are already available in the market, ensuring a rapid deployment of this technology within 12 months. For the transmission of the information between the camera trap and the drone, we are using two communication channels, an XB and Wi-Fi communication for rapid transmission of information. We use two channels to conserve power. The XB utilizes far less power than the Wi-Fi connection. Using these two systems simultaneously maximizes the battery lifetime of the camera trap. We envision the drone taking off from the headquarters of Wadi Buraya National Park. It will fly through the wadis and over the mountain to reach a camera trap and circle it while it wirelessly collects information from the camera trap. Connecting Raspberry Pi microprocessor to the autopilot system provides greater decision-making capacity to the system. The drone will know to return to the base when it collects all camera trap photos or when it runs low on battery. First of all, in my experience, which covers over 30 years as an entrepreneur and an innovator, uh, it's not uncommon for me to see uh, people coming to me with uh, solutions that do not really have a problem to solve. It, those are usually solutions looking for a problem. In this case, it's extremely apparent that it's a, they have uh, identified a real problem and have come up with a solution that actually makes sense. Um, the, the technology that's being used in the Wadi Urea project is incredibly important from my perspective because it provides an easy way for managers and uh, rangers to go out and actually collect the data. Um, so this is an incredibly important technology that will make the process much more efficient in terms of driving management decision making. Uh, yeah, there are very interesting solutions to put in place with drones. There is a, a, a dream actually here to recreate uh, what the nature should, should have always been uh, in the UAE. And it's possible to do that 